of my seven-year-old son's most favorite things yeah. is to see contrails. Right. And I don't know how to explain them <laughs> at all. So, so. <laughs> let's check with Scott. Help, please. Well, let's talk about that. What's coming up behind planes? Those are contrails, and that's mm -hmm. short for condensation trails. So it's actually water that you're seeing that condenses out from the jet engine as air flows through it. I want to show you, first of all, we look at cloud heights. These are the low clouds in fog. You get up to 25 to 35,000 feet. That's where your high, thin cirrus clouds are, the ice crystals. And generally, this is where planes are flying. So we're looking way up here where the contrails are. And this is what contrails are right in here. Some days you see them, some days you don't. So what's happening again, as the jet engine goes through, it's taking uh, the air that's flowing through the jet engine, the pressure's dropping dramatically, and so the temperature then drops, and what happens is, it, of course, it rises first, then it drops as it comes out the back end of the engine, and that cools the air and causes the moisture to condense. It's actually water vapor that's added into it from the engine there, and so it is water that's coming out from behind here, so condensation and a cloud forms. Well, just like any time, if the air is rising, that rising air cools and condenses and can make clouds, but there's not enough moisture for the atmosphere to produce clouds, so we add this moisture, we get clouds here. So in some days you have blue skies with condensation trails. If the air is sinking, typically you don't see a deep blue sky with long trails like this. If the air is sinking, it warms and dries, these condensation trails disappear. If the air is very dry and the jet engine goes through there, the plane goes through there, there's not enough moisture and cooling to cause the condensation uh, condensation trail to even form. So on really dry days, you have nothing coming out behind the plane. On days that you have some moisture in the air, but not enough of the atmosphere to make the clouds, you can have these condensation trails last for a while. And I will tell you this, I have learned over years of observation, when you see a sky with lots of condensation trails, it means that there's warm air coming in a lot because the air started to rise, and it could mean a storm approaching, especially in the wintertime. We can see this. So when you see really short trails behind the air sinking, we probably have some good weather coming around, but we see the long trails, it can be an issue of they're changing. Look at this uh, beautiful view here from up above here. Hmm. That's what a condensation trail looks like. So I said a lot there, Michelle. So when you explain it to your son, just yeah. tell him <laughs> got that's that. water got coming out of the back of, back of the plane there, and it could that's mean rain. That's water. That's water, and it could mean rain. If, if I can they remember that. Rain, yeah. Okay. Then and then it'd be easy. really cool if it did rain because then I'd look like a hero because <laughs> I knew what I was talking about. So stay tuned on that one, Scotty. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Well.